you can't get to that by yourself. You need somebody in your corner, somebody rooting you on, somebody that, you know, when, when things are going bad, somebody that's going to say, man, you can do it. I believe in you. I know it's hard times right now. I know, you know, you may not have the money that, that, that you desire or you may not be in the situation that you need to be or want to be in, but tomorrow is another opportunity. Get up, keep going. Tomorrow is another chance for you to, to get closer, a step closer to your goals. Keep going. So we need those supporters. We need those. And everybody is not going to be a supporter. You know, you're going to have haters. You're going to have people that's down you. And even in, in, in those situations, you can even find support in that. Because if you have haters, people hating on you, they're hating on you because they see something in you that they admire, that they lack, right? So use that even as motivation, you know? So have supporters, people in your corner, you know, it don't have to be a whole lot of people. It could be one or two people, you know, that, that really believe in your dreams and really believe in what you're trying to do, right? So that's number three. Number four, tell everyone what your goal is. Now, you don't have to tell everybody. You don't have to, you know, go on Facebook and say, yo, this, my goal is to lose 20 pounds, right? But if you did, it, it, it's not a bad thing because if you, when you tell people your goals, it, it's going to, they're going to hold you accountable. Right. If I say I'm going to read 10 books this year by December 1st, I'm going to have 10 books read and I don't tell anybody. And December 1st comes and I only read six books. I, I didn't reach my goal. And the whole point of setting a goal is to reach it or try to reach it or do your best to reach it. But if there's nobody challenging me or nobody holding me accountable to what I said, it may never get done. Right. So it's just it becomes a, a hope it becomes a wish it becomes something you just throw out and say, you know, what? Well, one day I'll make it happen. But the moment we begin to speak about it, the moment we begin to talk about it, people hold us and people hold us accountable for our words because there's somebody always watching. Somebody's always watching. Right. So if you say I'm going to lose 20 pounds. Right. And then you go on Facebook and you post a picture of a cupcake and say, man, I'm about to eat this cupcake. Right. You're going to get people in that that's going to reply and say, man, what happened to the 20 pounds you say you're going to lose? Or what happened to, you know, this or that? So that will put you in a mindset. Well, you know what? Maybe I don't need to eat this cupcake. Maybe I'll eat an apple. Or maybe I'll uh, go exercise or maybe I'll drink some water. You know, there are there. People will <laughs> people will speak on your goals. Trust me, if you put your goals out there, somebody is going to speak on it. If you're going left. Right. If you your goals to go straight ahead. And you're going left and you put it out there, somebody's going to say, you know what, man, I thought you said you were going straight, but I know that you're going left. Right. Sometimes we need that. We need people to hold us accountable for what we really want. You know what I'm saying? If that's what something you want to do, if you want to be a famous actor, put it out there and, and, and let people hold you accountable to what you're saying. All right. Next step. Uh, number five. Surround yourself with people who inspire you. Right. So I'm, I'm an actor. So some of the people that inspire me in the in the uh, entertainment industry, you know, Will Smith, Denzel Washington, um, Leonardo DiCaprio, just to name a few. So I, I don't personally know Will Smith at this particular time, uh, but I know his work. I, I watch his interviews. I, I watch his movies. I see how he conducts himself. You know, I see he speaks well. Uh, I see how he dresses. I see how he. Uh, treats his family and, and talks about his family and his interaction with his wife and his children. I see that. So I look at that and uh, it inspires me, right? So I can take bits and pieces of what I see from different actors. Like, man, I really like the fact that Will Smith, is, he speaks well. When he's in the interviews, he's cool, he's calm, he's collected, he speaks well, he speaks up, he talks uh, with confidence, he carries himself with confidence. And that's a cool attribute. Right. And I'm not saying go out and just mirror or mimic, uh, you know, people that that inspire you. But it's OK to take little bits and pieces, you know, from each one that you that you admire. Right. And then you can bring it together and be like, OK, I want to speak well when I'm in interviews. I want to speak intelligently. I want to speak well. I want to carry myself with confidence, with with respect. I want to have respect for others and as well as myself. So those are different things you can you know, take from people that you admire, right? So that's number five. Surround yourself with people who inspire you because the more we see them win, that will inspire us to win. And another part is we can also see uh, they've laid the, the path, right? 
Will Smith has laid the path in acting. So now I can look at Will Smith and see some of the, the pitfalls that he fell in. I can see some of his failures and I can see some of his successes, right? So now it's on me. I can either maneuver around the failures and the pitfalls and, and, and get to the, the, the desire end quicker. Or I can just go about it my own way and say, you know what, I'm just going to bump my head left and right and uh, get there when I get there. I don't think that's the best way to go about it. You know, that's why people write books. That's why people um, make YouTube videos, because we're trying to teach others how to avoid the, the pitfalls and, the, and the, the disasters that, you know, that we've been through. So the next person coming up behind you can move, you know, maneuver a little bit smoother on that path. So number five is huge. Surround yourself with people who inspire you. Number six is the last point, and it is define your actions, right? So define your action. What do you what does your dreams look like? Like define your dreams, define your goals, define, you know, you say you want your family to be to be happy. Define that. What does happy look like for your family? What does success look like for you? What does wealth look like for you? What does your dream home look like for you? Define your actions because we can just go, you know, through our day-to-day -day lives and just do a whole bunch of stuff. We're busy doing nothing. Right, we're continually busy, constantly busy. But what is that? What where is that getting us? You know, if we're busy doing nothing, that's a rat race. We continually go around the same rat race, the same circle, and we're not making any progress for it. So define your actions. Define. Ask yourself, why are you doing this? Is this going to bring me closer to my dreams? Is this going to bring me closer to my goals? Right. So that's number six, last point for tonight. Define your actions. All right, I'll briefly go over uh, the points one more time. Number one, replace have to with I want to. Oh, uh, thank you. Number two, what are you saying yes to that you should be saying no to? Number three, tell your supporters that you need help. Number four, tell everyone your goals or tell at least the people that are close to you your goals so they can hold you accountable. Number five, surround yourself with people who inspire you. And number six, define your actions. All right. So those are six steps to get out of our way. I feel like 2016, man, is, is, is our year. It's a year for expansion. It's a year for growth. It's a year for coming out of our, our fears, coming out of the things that held us back, you know, in 2015 and previous years. I think this is the year that we will, you know, leap. We will go for it. Oh, you're very welcome, Adrena. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is our year. I believe it. I believe it with all my heart. I believe in you. I believe in the goals and your aspirations. You can do it. You know, we're in this together. Let's all win. This is our year. So if y'all like that video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe by clicking the link below and share it with all your friends and family. And if there's any kind of video or parody you want me to do, please post it in the comments below because I make new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. All right. This is Devon Trish with Team Motivation TV. And until next time, love, live, laugh, and learn. Peace. Can't stand still because the world will move without you.